Hello, everyone, and welcome to the electronic scoreboard for my APA baseball plane. And I'm going to call this short video Ways to Play the Game. So I have different ways of playing the game. And this is one of them using my electronic scoreboards. Uh, this one happens to be for APA baseball. And I have the 1978 Mariners uh, playing the 1978 Athletics. And this is per my project for 1978, uh, where I'm doing a full season replay. Who knows how far I'll get. I'm going to call this a lifetime project. <clears throat> the Mariners are at three and four. The Athletics are two and three. I'm just kind of going th through the American and National League schedule, trying to keep it even. Right now, I am right here. This is a... Uh, Halfway through a four game set with uh, the Seattle Mariners um, playing the uh, athletics in Oakland. So that's where I'm at. Today's matchup this is my master spreadsheet for the project has Jim Colburn. Uh, you can see he is red, he is next up, he has one start. The others all have two right now, the other starters. And up for the athletics is John Henry Johnson. This will be his second start. He is 0-1. Colburn is also 0-1. And um, I made a new tab this morning that has the stats for the game that I'm playing. This is the other way that I could play from the Excel spreadsheet. So I've got my dice roll over here, and I can see that it's a ground out to second base. I put my typical G in there. I get my outs, get my next roll. I get my baseball cards. I got my player cards. Um, when I pull a pitcher, I can enter his stats here, and it'll display the new pitcher up here. And 13 would be a walk. So this is one way I have of playing from the Excel spreadsheet itself. Straight from the Excel spreadsheet where I keep all my files. Leon Roberts gets into a second column, so I would get a second roll. 23 is a six. Scoring Craig Reynolds. That would be a double and an RBI. You can see the scoreboard's automated for the runs and hits and errors. And like I said, I can fill in the stats for the pitcher and it'll track their fatigue and turn this from green to yellow to blue. At the end of the game, I have my uh, stats over here that are based on what I enter in this area here. So I can copy these stats after the game and put them in the uh, batting master tab and just select the team and that would have been the Mariners. And I could do a uh, paste special uh, values and add them. And basically, it would just add the values to their uh, ongoing stats, their living stats right there. And it would just keep tallying them up right there. So uh, there's the master stats for batting, pitching. And then I have my team batting, team ERA and also the other tabs along that would uh, produce these leaderboards that I've created. So that's one way I have of playing is from the Excel spree spreadsheet itself. The spreadsheet will actually pull the records from the team's pitchers and display the overall records here and keep the games behind and the winning percentages. I put in the two teams that are playing over here. Say it was the Orioles against the reds and it'll pull up the uh, pitchers for those two teams and i'll be able to tell who's uh, starting the next game it'll be mike flanagan for the orioles and it would be paul moscow for the reds but we're back to the mariners and athletics so this is one way of playing the excel spreadsheet and the tab I created this morning was to uh, display the stats for the two teams that I'm playing based on what I put in here. 
So if I go back to my electronic scoreboard, I now have the stats from the ongoing replay. And they're displayed up here on both sides. So I have the player card and the baseball card. So let's get out of the box score. So this is interesting. There's two outs, uh, bottom of the first. Jim Colburn is facing Rico Cardi. This is my little uh, homemade rule. So uh, I have a floating pitcher's grade index here. So he's a D and he's still green based on his fatigue number at 13. And it's green, it'll turn yellow and then it'll turn red. And that equates to the fatigue levels here. So for a potential hit um, here, we have an eight. And against a D pitcher, of course, that would be a hit. But he is in the green, so he gets a plus two right now on his adjustments. So that would bring him up to a B. So it's uh, against an eight, that would be an out. But he also got an extra boost because of my additional homegrown rule on doubles. I look at the uh, lefty-righty matchup. He throws right, he bats right. So he would get another increase. So he actually goes up to an A for this at-bat. So it's still going to be... I got the Delaware Valley boards in here, uh, pop fly out. So I would register pop out. The advantage of using electronic scoreboard, I get not only, well, the Excel spreadsheet has I, both of those, I think. When I'm playing a game in here, I do have my dice rolls down here for the fatigue and I have my dice roll there. So I have that here and here and let's see i've got the batter cards so what i don't have is the ability in the excel spreadsheet to click on a player and see their player card just by clicking on them see mike edwards boom i want to see uh, miguel de leon's card there it is back to the batter click here that i can't do what i have to do well what i can do is just click on their name and it'll bring up their card if I need to reference somebody's card, I can just click here. So I do have that. So for the next batter here, I would click here, get the roll, and he would walk. And then we go down to the next batter and get a fresh roll, and that's a double play. And it was one out in the inning. This will end the inning on the double play. And then I would just go down here to start the bottom of the first. And that would be a walk with a stolen base. My uh, putting an O in there is the indication of a stolen base. So if you look over here at the stats, you'll see he got a stolen base and a walk. Oh, it didn't recognize the walk. I have to fix that. 25 to N25 is a walk. Oh, it should be E25. Wow, I wonder how long that's been messed up. So there's a walk. Let me just correct the rest of those. Okay. Oh. Undo. Just want the formulas to go in there. Okay. E3. Yeah, that one seems to be good. So anyway, yeah, you can see that Miguel got his uh, stolen base and his walk uh, just by entering it in there. So the next batter would be uh, a 28, and then I would have to actually reference the uh, boards here from my desktop to get the result of a 28. And if I needed to check the rating of the shortstop, I, would, I can see here it's an 8. Or I could click here and look at Craig Reynolds' card. He's an eight. So back to the electronic scoreboard. I have this. I can display the ballpark. I can go to any ballpark I want here. We're in uh, Coliseum in Oakland. So, um, and then I'm displaying the uh, stats from the Excel spreadsheet tab that I built this morning up in each corner. Um, so the other way that I actually play, and I'm always torn on which way to do it, 
is with the cards and the dice. And I love the tactile piece. I love handling the cards and rolling the dice, but sometimes it does get a little monotonous and it just pains me to go back and forth because I just wish I had one or the other sometimes. But uh, I had no problem playing football for the most part, the Stratomatic football scoreboard I've made that has the cards on screen. And I don't seem to miss those cards but then when it comes to APA football, I make my cards. And then sometimes I like to put the logos on them and I like to use those cards. So it's a back and forth thing. So these are ways to play the game. And so uh, this is this is my predicament at the moment. So I'm always looking for different ways to play the game. So it's a curse and uh, a benefit, I guess. So anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit about how I do things here and um, how I go between playing between the Excel spreadsheet, the cards and the dice, and the electronic scoreboard. All right, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the forums.